So first we're gonna walk through the action menu and that's what I'm calling it. And it's when you tap the action button, you actually get a menu option of different actions to quickly take. This is the one that I've found to be the most useful for myself, just because I do multiple things a day, having it throughout the day, being able to pick which action I want, works really well for me. How did I set this up? Well, I'm not gonna go through each and every little detail, but I'm still gonna show you what the, what the shortcut looks like on the screen. First, what you're gonna wanna do is go into the Shortcuts app on your iPhone. So in here, you'll actually wanna tap on the shortcut options at the top and then go into Apple Watch. This makes sure that it's gonna be an option on your Apple Watch to actually trigger. And then you got the plus button up top. So I've already created it. And see, I set up a menu with different actions. There's the office lights, the indoor walk, the outside walk, flashlight, and the door lock. So once you start the menu, it actually gives you part of the structure down below that you then add the actions to. So if you just wanna do something simple, like just an outdoor walk, that was just a one line grab, throw it in there, and then tap on what workout you wanna do. If you wanna do something a little more complicated, like control your lights in your house, now that one I actually had to do a little bit more on because I wanted to get the current power state of that item so I knew if it was on or off and then make sure if it's on, I'm turning it off. If it's off, I'm turning it on. But there's so much control if you go in here of what you can do with each and every action. Because I have a smart lock, I can even just unlock and lock my door with a couple taps of my watch. So that's the first option and it was pretty simple to set up. Now the other option is based on the time of day. So if you're looking for something that's more like, well, I know I always do this in the morning, I do this in the afternoon, I do this in the evening, this is the shortcut for you because then you can have one button tap and it performs that shortcut during those hours. So how we do this is once again, we're gonna go into the shortcut app I'm just gonna show you the one that I have set up. This one's a little bit more confusing, so I'm gonna do my best to describe it. But just as one last reminder, you can actually get like a starter template of all these shortcuts by filling out that email link down below. All right, so for this one, you're basically, you wanna get the current date. Now we're formatting the date, and what we're doing is there's this H string. This just gets the hour, the current hour of the date. Now this is like a 24 hour timer type thing. So what we can do is between zero and six, so basically midnight and 6 a.m. But one thing to think of, it actually goes to 659. So even though it says six, it's really going to seven because it's any time that the hour is six, this action will work. So on this action that I have right now between midnight in 7 a.m., it's gonna trigger the flashlight, which, you know, if I'm walking around in the middle of the night, I can hit the action button, the flashlight's gonna come on, and that's just the perfect time for that. Between 7 and 8 a.m., which is really 9 a.m., gotta remember, 8.59 is how far that goes. Then I can unlock my door. So I have it to set door. I'll tap in here and you can see I have a smart lock and I'm just telling the door to unlock. I'm never gonna wanna lock the door at that time. So I don't need those case statements that I had in the last one to check. Between 10 a.m. to 20, which is 8 p.m., I can control my lights. So this is the lights in my office. I tap the button, it checks the correct state and does the opposite. So if they're on, it's turning them off. If they're off, it's turning them on. All this with just one tap of a button between these hours. So the last action I have for my day is an indoor walk. So usually if I've not closed my rings throughout the day or if I've not hit like a current amount of steps that I wanna hit that day, now with one tap, I'm gonna start another workout that's an indoor walk and I can finish out those rings. So this one was a little more complicated than the other one, but at the same time, this one kinda of has a lot more power. If you have like a dedicated routine that you do throughout the day, this is the way to do it. You can even probably add even more onto this to pick the day of the weeks and then trigger different things. Lastly, now this one is kind of the one that's a little exciting because this kind of opens it up to pretty much everything. Now I haven't dived too deeply into this one, but it does work the way I have it set up. If you set it up for a lot of watch faces, it's gonna take a little longer to run. It's just checking every single watch face and if it's active or not. I only have a couple watch faces currently set up and I only have two options that are actually getting added in this one. The way this one works is I'm getting a list of the watch faces. So I'm setting this variable. I don't know if you really have to, but I just did anyway. So I'm creating this all faces variable that's set into all the faces that this get list of Apple watch faces set. In here, I'm getting 
the item at index. So I'm taking that list that I have and you have to just kind of count down <laughs> the list to get the number of faces that that is. So I'm looking at my watch face seven. So if I look at the list of watch faces in the watch app, I can just count to number seven. On this watch face, this is the one that's gonna trigger this action. You also have to put a little if statement and make sure that this face is active. If so, then it's gonna trigger the flashlight for this face. Now I have to go through this again, get to all the watch faces, and then now I'm looking at watch face number eight on my list and check to see if that one's active. If that one's active, now I'm gonna start an outdoor run. Like I said, this one's really over the top because I feel like there should be a better way to do it. And if you found one, please let me know. I would love to share it and give you praise. The only other way I've been able to do it is based on face type. Like there was an option to where, you know, the wayfinder, like if it's the wayfinder face, do this action. But if you have multiple wayfinder faces, it's gonna always do that same action. So that works if you don't have duplicate watch faces, but if you do, it doesn't work that well. I put that file in the list as well. If you're interested in that email list, it's all there. But if you did find any help in any of this stuff that I just shared, hit that thumbs up. If you wanna see more, I got videos right here. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. God bless.